Hey, hey, welcome to another tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to create a shrink wrap model, which is this model here. It's a lightweight, a mesh model, and it lets you, it's useful to to keep as a, a base reference model if you want to model a shoe. But I'll show you the original model. So this is the high definition model and and when you go file save as you can turn it into a lightweight model. Alright, so that would that's what we're doing, we're creating this mesh model. Alright, so you can import this uh, a shoe model or any other model you like. This shoe model was made by um, it's called Running Shoe by Alfredo Galozzi. Okay. So usually when you import, you might need to clean it up. So there's this shoelace. Let's remove that away. And to remove that, you can use flexible modeling. Go to this tab and zoom in. Select the geometry, click remove. And also tick leave open so it, you can leave a the surface model open. And there's actually two surfaces, so I'll go in and remove again. And tick leave open, click apply. Alright, so there you go, we can remove these laces. But um, I'll just undo that. Alright, so I've done this already. I have all these features removed already. So I'll just drag that down to save some time. Alright, so we have our model here. And this model is actually 80 megabytes. And it can slow your computer down. To make a lightweight model, you can file, save as, save a copy. And in the file types, switch to shrink wrap on the bottom. So to do that, you can file, save as save a copy and change the type to shrink wrap and you're going to put it into a folder and the create shrink wrap a window pops up so there's two methods you can do you can create a surface a lightweight surface you can create a facet mesh model which is what we're going to do today and you can take to make the program fill the holes to make it a solid i'm going to leave it open and you can set it to ignore quilts, quilts or surfaces. So that's not a word for surface. I'm going to include surface, so I'll leave it there. And this is the quality. So if I set that to 6, I can click preview to see what the result looks like. You can see the status on the bottom left here. Yeah, and usually it's it's quite quick. This computer is getting a bit slow, so it takes some time. But there you go, you have a facet model. You simply click OK to save that file and click close to close it off. And I'll go back to the original model, but in the save directory, you can find the shrink wrap model. It ends with the SW and a number after the name. And that's the shrink wrap model. Uh, shrink wrap tutorial. Shrink wrap is to create a lightweight model. It's good to create a base lightweight model to use as reference if you need to build a shoe. So that's the tutorial today. Thank you for watching.